What's going on? Travis here, TravisStetzel.com, TrainAggressive.com, and I'm coming to you. I uh, wanted to answer a question from my man Marlon, who sent in a question asking about how to cut sugar out of your uh, diet, how to kind of wean yourself off of it, how do you sustain that, and uh, sugar substitutes. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is what I've been using and uh, kind of what I've been doing as far as cutting sugars out of my diet. Um, I've come a long way from where I used to be in college as far as my sugar consumption uh, goes and just overall carb and processed carb consumption has gone. First and foremost, it just comes down to willpower. Um, it just comes down to doing it, being disciplined, and just cutting that stuff out. So processed carbs, um, you know, crap like candy, cakes, um, desserts, stuff like that. You can't have it all the time and expect to get uh, get awesome results. Um, it's just not going to happen unless you got freak genetics. And if so, I hate you. All right. So for most people out there, 99.9% .9 of people, including myself, we have to have willpower. You just got to cut that stuff out. Um, if you're at a higher body fat percentage, um, you know, really limit that stuff. All right. Earn it. All right. 90, 10, 90, 10 rule. 90% of the time you're eating good. 10% of the time, you can kind of include those those desserts, those sugars, those different things into your uh, diet, and uh, you could you can still be okay. You don't have to cut it, you know, cold turkey. All right, you can kind of wean yourself off of it. But first and foremost, it comes down to willpower. Number two, um, get that stuff out of your house. All right, so just don't have it in your house. If you don't have it in your house, you have no way to access it. Whereas I was always the one. You know, I was buying different uh, types of desserts. Really, the only desserts that make it into my house now are the ones that my wife brings into the house. And if they're there, you're you're going to find them, you know, going into your mouth. So just get that stuff out of your house. It'll help you stay more on track, help you uh, stay disciplined, more consistent with that stuff, and it'll help, it, help you cut it out. Plus, you're not going to be wasting your money on that stuff and having it in, in your uh, pantry. Now... As far as uh, um, sugar substitutes go, there's a lot of different ways you can go. Obviously, you want to avoid real sugars as, as best as you can. So raw sugar, um, there's a lot of sugar alternatives, so like high fructose corn syrup, a lot of sugar, um, artificial sweeteners. You want to cut that stuff out as best as possible. So like Molotol, um, like I mentioned, high fructose corn syrup. Um, the most poisonous stuff in the world that's in a lot of drinks um, drawing a blank right now I'll come back to that but uh, some of the uh, substitutes that I've been using obviously if you got a real sweet tooth raw organic um, local uh, honey um, that's one of the best sources of you know something sweet if you want to add something sweet in your diet you can just take a spoonful of that stuff and just you know eat some honey kind of carves your uh, curbs your uh, sugar um, sweet tooth uh, cravings but uh, something that I found that really works great coconut crystals so if you want to add a little sweetness to you know your your protein shakes or you know whatever you might be having you can add those in those have been working great um, brown spotted bananas <clears throat> the rule with these is you know again it all comes back to I guess what your goals are, where you're at body fat percentage wise, if you're higher on the scale and you're trying to get lean, I would recommend cutting out all fruit, you know, all forms of fructose, all forms of sugar as best as you can and because uh, you're going to get a lot leaner quicker that way than, you know, eating bananas and stuff like that because bananas are very high in fructose, sugar, and uh, those are more of a post-workout only um, sugar source or carb source if you want to call it that but I typically will eat one of those after right after a workout if I have another workout in the day so if I'm highly active that's the only time I'm really eating bananas alright something that I've been going to that freaking is the bomb sorry my memory died on my camera but uh, I was just talking about figs figs are an awesome source of natural uh, sugar, I take those directly after my workouts, right when I'm drinking my protein shake. These things are the bomb. All right, um, I get a big bag. I get this from Costco. Um, if you if you have a Costco, they may or may not have these there, but uh, 
these things are awesome so there's another look made in nature brand so but these things are natural whole sources of uh, fructose so um, great for post-workout stuff and then uh, so going back to the question how do you wean yourself off of uh, sugar so it's sustainable all right number one it's going to be willpower number two just Get the bad stuff out of your house. So the shitty source of sugars, just get out of your house. Processed sugars, desserts, stuff like that. Save that for, you know, cheat meals, if at all. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different uh, recipes, um, like paleo recipes, uh, gluten-free recipes that, you know, use only natural sources of sugar. Um, I link those up in the description so you can check those out. But uh, main thing is, is just switching it up, you know, switching in real sources of uh sweet stuff getting out the bad stuff all right and then just kind of following that 80 20 90 10 rule and then when it comes to anything sweet you know with honey another problem marlon was having was he was just you know he was switching in the good stuff but he he was overdoing it big time with his uh, serving sizes so that's with anything moderation in anything all right even if it's a healthy source like these figs if i had a bag of these figs a day even though it's a healthy, all-natural, organic source of food, you know, I'm probably going to gain some extra pounds of fat just because I'm taking in so much sugar. So you got to moderate that stuff. Everything in moderation, especially the sweet stuff, right? That's, that's how it was made. You know, that's how it was supposed to be. So um, those are the basic rules on how to wean yourself off of sugar, so to speak, and kind of uh, maintain it, you know, for great results, um, you know. Thoughts, comments, questions, post them up below. I uh, hope that helps you out. Helps you uh, get leaner and meaner. Bottom line is you got to keep living aggressive, getting strong. Travis, I'm out.